One thing we haven't really gone into a lot of detail on yet in our Spectrophone videos is the creation of arrays. Arrays are sort of the bridge between the spectral amplitude modulation and spectral array oscillation modes. While we're in SAM, the Spectrophone is capable of interpreting its own spectral output and storing it for later use in SAO. This is the deepest and most complicated aspect of using the Spectrophone, and it's also totally optional, so don't feel that you need to get into this right away. That said, this is a video about array creation, so let's dig in. Notice that the mode button on each side is labeled not only with SAM and SAO, but also in gold with the word array. The gold lettering on buttons indicates the function that will happen if you press the button while holding shift. That's a per side operation. So for example, with array, while in SAM, we hold shift A and press the A array button to create an array on the A side. While we're in SAM, we can create an array at any time, and when we switch back over to SAO, the spectrophone can read the contents of the array and output its spectra at the odd and even harmonic outputs. Let's create a quick one to demonstrate, and then we'll go into a few different possible approaches to array creation. By the way, I'd like to note that array creation is a very experimental and open-ended process, and there's really no prescribed best practice. It's possible to create arrays that have very little or no animation, or even output silence. The definition of a good array is something to uncover for yourself in practice in various contexts. We'll go into more details on this as we go. So to begin with, here we are in SAM on side A. Let's get some sound going. We'll patch side B, which is in SAO, to side A's input. Let's modulate side B's pitch. As well as the slide parameter on side A, the side we're listening to. We'll hold shift and press array. The mode button flashed during creation and Let's go back over to the SAO mode. Now the slide and focus controls become navigation controls for the array. Now in a bit we'll get into some details of how the controls relate to the array in SAO, but first Let's take a minute to get a little technical about exactly what's happening when we create an array. Because the array creation appeared to happen automatically over a period of time, you might think that it's recording or sampling sound to be played back, but that's not actually what's happening. What an array actually is, is not a sound recording, but a collection of spectra. A spectrum is a sort of informational snapshot of which particular harmonics at which particular amplitudes the spectrophone is or should be outputting at a particular moment. While we're in SAM, the current spectrum changes constantly depending on the sound at the input and the slide and focus controls. The pitch, partials, and FM controls are applied to this spectrum for resynthesis and we hear the results at the odd and even outputs. While we're in the process of creating an array, each pulse of the clock causes the current spectrum to be written to the array. If no clock is patched and a clock has not been received in the last few seconds, then the spectrophone clocks itself 1,024 times over the course of a little over a second, which is what happened here a minute ago. 
On the other hand, if the Spectre phone has received a clock in the last three seconds, then the internal clocking does not happen, and instead it will write a new spectrum with each pulse of the clock. It can receive clocks either via the clock input or just by tapping the shift button. So for example, in Sam, if we tap the shift button and then immediately start array creation, it will sit here waiting for additional clocks or taps indefinitely. We can clock it up to 1,024 times to write up to 1,024 spectra. If we stop the clock, we can wait as long as we like before sending the next one. We can also complete array creation at any time by shift array again. In other words, we can create arrays with fewer than the maximum number of spectra. Okay, that digression was kind of a mouthful. Let's dig back in. In my experience, the automatic clocking for array creation works best on sounds that change quickly in a smooth, non-stepped, complex manner. Many sounds with non-synthesized origins fit this bill. Firmware after. Firmware after. Firmware after. For example, after. here's the sound of my voice Firmware reading after. some of the technical Firmware specifications after. of the Spectre Firmware. Firmware after. Firmware after. Firmware after. Firmware after. Firmware Aster, Firmware Aster, Firmware Aster, Firmware Aster. Let's use the envelope firmware follower aster. output to modulate firmware slide aster. a little. Firmware Aster, Firmware Aster, Firmware Aster, Firmware Aster. Or file onto the VC dynamic range, VC dynamic range, YC 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 dynamic range. Another thing I should note is that the FM and partials controls do not affect the spectrum, so it's recommended that during array creation, we keep FM all the way down and partials all the way up. This will give us the clearest preview of what harmonics the spectra in the array will actually contain. Additionally, arrays are normalized in amplitude on creation based on the output levels of the spectrophone as they're being created. So keeping partials up during array creation will help prevent oversaturation of the resulting array when used in SAO. Okay, so let's go back over to SAO mode and check out this array. We can send a very fast clock in order to step through all the spectra of the array. Dynamic range, you see dynamic range, you see dynamic range, you see dynamic range. And at any given time, we can also modulate around the clock's position using the slide and focus controls. Let's put the other side in Sam and use this array output to One thing I like to do is utilize stepped or sequenced modulations in SAM. And then use the same or a related clock to clock the array creation. Because changes will happen only when the clocks come in, there's no reason to add additional spectra between clocks as they would just be copies of each other. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's try clocking array creation by hand. Here's a sawtooth wave from XPO. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the shift button to let the spectre phone know to expect external clocking and then initiate array creation. So now it's just waiting for me to clock or tap it to tell it to write each individual spectrum. This method opens up the possibility of pretty deliberate array creation. Let's adjust the various controls to create individual spectra that we like. As we explored in the acoustic communication video, in a patch like this, the XPO's pitch is a harmonic control. Here we can write in individual spectra with emphasis on particular individual harmonics. And we could even go, instead of straight up the harmonic series, in a sort of zigzag back and forth. Pattern. Now we can go ahead and finish the array and switch over to SAO. Now the number of spectra we've created here is on the small side. We'll notice that the focus and slide controls create smooth modulations even though there were fairly stepped discontinuities from one spectrum to the next. They do some interpolation from one spectrum to the next to ensure smooth modulation is always possible. We can also use the shift button to switch directly from one spectrum to the next. slide and focus controls can be modulated smoothly at the same time. As this step clock and creating a sort of multi-dimensional array navigation. the approaches I've tried with array creation. We'd be curious to hear what you've tried or what else you'd like to see us try. It's still early times. I'm looking forward to gradually learning what makes a good array, how best to utilize differing arrays, and of course also having fun with some bad ones. 
Stay tuned for more approaches in the future, and if you encounter any of your own fun strategies for array creation, please let us know in the comments to the video. Thanks for watching, and happy patching.